Hey there, it's Elena, your friendly nuclear physicist, and today we're doing something different. We're gonna be playing a video game called 60 Seconds Reatomizer. It was suggested by you guys, and even though I don't really have the biggest experience in playing games, it looks very fun when other people are playing it, so we're gonna give it a try. Let's get into it. Okay, let's see. So it's supposed to be a game about surviving a nuclear apocalypse. So we're gonna... S oh, okay, things already don't look good. Okay, so we're gonna go Apocalypse, the full atomic experience, scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Sounds like a plan. Oh, we get to choose if we're gonna play with the husband or the wife. So I'm gonna go with the wife and uh, difficult level. Uh, let's, let's get some medium, fat man. Soup tomato can be stored up to 737 years. If you don't have a can opener, that's a big problem, I guess. Okay, my kid is here. I'm gonna wait for the timer to pick up my kid first. As a responsible mother that I am in this game. Come on, where's my kid? Yes, good. Takes up two spaces, but there's some water here. I see some water, yes, good. Top. Oh, where's the kitchen? Soup, soup, soup. Water. Where's my daughter? She's playing that loud, loud musical instrument of hers. She takes up a lot of space. Gun. I think we should need a gun, right? Why can't my husband just go? I'll come back for him. Soup. Soup. Oh my god. No time? No, 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 I have no more space. More time. Do I have time? No, I'm gonna die. I left him. I left him behind. At least I saved my kids. Right? <laughs> Toxic folk, just put a gas mask and enjoy life. Well, I'm sorry to the father of this family. That is sad, but I look how many supplies we got. I have a gun. I don't have bullets, but I have a gun. So let's see. Okay, diary, day one. So here we are. The three of us are safe and sound. We just need to make it work from now on. We really wish it was four of us. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> we vaguely remember uh, stashing ho some things in the shelter because uh, there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. Okay. Our shelves are full of cans. We will eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we will talk to cans. Some of us already do. Okay. Fun. Soup. Okay, I'm assuming we just entered the shelter. I'm not going to feed anyone or give water to anyone. So let's say day one. One minute it was all fine and the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip of ourselves if we are going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it. I agree. Okay, second day. Let's see. Everybody looks intact. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. Dolores, the mother, I guess, is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Okay, Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, so no trouble dared to cross her path. Uh, Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. I think that day two with no water, no food, they can probably survive. So no, food, no water, no food. Our neighbor is still highly, neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. We can send Dolores for an expedition. Mary is more than ready to go out to scavenge. Timmy can do it. Should we start preparing for an expedition tomorrow? Probably not. We have plenty of food. I think we should stay and wait for the radioactivity to, to lower a little bit. How about that trip to Nevada we've been postponing for a while now? Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Okay, well, let's hope I'm going to be able to get you out of here. <laughs> let's move on to day three. I think so far so good. Okay, so now we definitely need to feed them. 
So planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. The lorries can't remain this thirsty for long, so the mother is complaining now. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Tommy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Yeah, I agree. We, they should all have some water. And uh, mm, should I give them soup? Two days, third day with no food. Uh, probably not. Okay, it's, the neighborhood is still highly radioactive. I still don't recommend us to go outside. So whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is included feature. We should probably try doing something about it with whatever we brought down here. And we don't have any of these things here. Too bad. Let's see, day four. I hear already a detector going a little bit off. What is this thing? It's a harmonica, very useful. So, okay, we, so we have a rifle, but as I said, we don't have bullets. Soup, soup, water. I don't seem to be able to click on anything. Okay, let's see. We could figure out, uh, so we just assume that what a regular pipe should do in the event of a nuclear apocalypse and decide to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today though, probably no connection to the biome, <laughs> none whatsoever. Dolores is no longer thirsty, Mary Jane is no longer, okay, nobody's thirsty, that's great. Did I feed them yesterday? Because it is the fourth day and they don't have food. Mm, let's stretch it one more day. Uh, the contamination in our town is still strong. Scavenging these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Let's hold on one more day. Uh, we were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Oh my God. Who could it be in the past of the wasteland? How in the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? Should we open up? What if it's the husband? Uh, let's play it safe or not. Let's open up. We support people. Hopefully it's people. Oh my God, day five. Oh, the mother is bad, bad, bad. What happened? Turned out it was a nice mysterious fella in a weird suit. He gave us some soup cans. This would help us survive the next couple of days. Nice. Opening up that hatch was a bit risky. It seems that he gave us awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Dolores got ill. Mary Jane seems fine. Hopefully it will stay this way. Okay, okay, they need to eat. All of them. And they all need water. Yeah, certainly. The contamination in our town is still strong. I still suggest we don't go out for an expedition. So... There it goes again, noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know, it's driving us insane. Well, you are kind of getting insane in that shelter. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. Yeah, I agree. We have plenty of food though, that's a good thing. Okay, people look strange now. What is happening? He has, Tommy has gotten crazy. AJ is sane, the mom is sick, soup is opened up. What is happening here? Who made this? Let's see. So it's not weird that Timmy is now wearing a soup can on his head and pretending it's a helmet. It's just innocent child's play. Or is it? Boredom can really get to you in the shelter. It can lead you to dark places, trust us. Yeah, I do trust you. We can't just sit around while Dolores is so sick. Timmy behaviors, Timmy's behavior is odd. Mary Jane, she's fine and doesn't need anything. I say, I give some water to Timmy and mom needs water and food. Yeah, how about that? Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are risky to our health right now. Dolores says she's fine, but we are not sure. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out. Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. 
Should we send Timmy? Timmy looks like maybe going a little bit crazy, so maybe he needs a little bit of fresh air. Should we start preparing an expedition? Yeah, let's do it. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking on our hatch is not something we anticipated. Green pajamas. Yeah, this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted that they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We are pretty poor, so maybe we could make some new friends. Should we let them in? Yeah, that sounds very weird. Mm, I mean, I have a good supply of food here. We could use some water, but no, I'm not gonna risk this one. I'm not letting them in, no. Oh God, it's been a week. Oh, Mary Jane is going crazy. What can I do with this mom? So we didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the doors locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure what they wanted. Uh, we're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? Yeah. They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Dolores' health has not improved. Yeah, we can tell. Timmy still hasn't recovered. Uh, his full mental co competence. We wish uh, we could help him somehow. Well, I did try to send him outside, no? Mary Jane says she's fine, but doesn't need anything. And well, all I can do to the mom is give some food. Right? What else? So we're feeling pretty optimistic about today's exhibition. The only uh, expedition, the only thing left to do is choose the right person to do it. Well, I think Timmy should go. What is this? What should we take outside? Nothing or a harmonica? Well, let's do nothing. Oh God, oh God, I send a child outside. Oh God, he's not back. Is he supposed to be not back? Did I kill him? Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Dolores' health hasn't improved. Jesus, I don't know what to do with her. <laughs> Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Yeah, okay. Understandable. It's been a while. I can give you some more soup, Mom. I don't know what to do. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh air, radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on the doorstep. There was no note on it and the neighbors and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take it and look inside? Yeah, let's take it. Let's look inside. I feel good about this suitcase. Or not? Yes, the mom is great. How did this happen? Mary Jane looks not in a very good condition. We were hoping it would be a bouquet of beautiful flowers. Why? <laughs> How is that helpful? <laughs> or maybe a box of fine Belgian chocolate. But apparently you can't have it all. We will put these items to good use though. We got bullets, I got a rifle and now we have bullets. Are you kidding me? Dolores was cured from her illness. Yes. Dolores has to drink something. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Perfect. Dolores, get some water. That's it, not feeding anyone. Where is Tommy? It's been a while. We don't know how, we don't know much about what's happening on the outside. If we only had a chance to tune in some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two. Yeah, sorry about that. I tried to find it. I even sacrificed the dad for the radio, but I couldn't find the radio. Oh well, we have a gun and bullets. Okay. Both look nice, can I give her a little bit of harmonica to play? She looks sad. Okay, day 10, not bad. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying it so out loud. Good. So no water, no food to anyone since nobody's complaining. We were sure we'd look through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed, a plant seed. We should plant it to see what happens, but we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? A whole bottle of water? Ah. 
Uh, well, let's do it. Let's do it. In a bunker? Was that a good idea? No sun? I shouldn't have done it, probably. We have one bottle left. Here goes nothing. Soil seeds, water. <laughs> we'll see what happens in a few days. Ah, okay. So we still don't know. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. We're missing one bottle of water. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Dolores is doing well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Well, Mary Jane, how about you get some soup, but no water? Would that work? We might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible, otherwise we might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger, like saucer men from Mars. Well, uh, what can I do? What is this? First aid kit. Yeah, don't have that. Oh, someone is knocking. Oh god. Do you think it's Timmy? Oh, mom, what happened? Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least one or two hours of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were and there are other problems we will need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from some radiation sickness. Dolores will, know, will not last long without water. Dolores' sanity is questionable. I did this. Mary Jane is no longer hungry. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We'll need to find her something to drink fast. Mary Jane is really tired. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait. She, was she hungry? Um, so they all need water and food. Okay. We didn't think we would get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food, we win. We get his two cans. We lose, we give him our two cans. Are we going to do it? Yes, but we're going to do it because we have plenty of cans. Day 13. How did we play that or what happened? The, the game with the cans. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set for kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. Uh, we'd sooner rob someone. We went, ah, we sent that man away. Good reasons. Oh my god. Dolores is clearly giving into the madness. We wish we could stop it. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Well, I fed you both. How about you eat something? We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape in the animals are stampeding up there. It might be a good chance to have some fresh food. Who should go outside? Ooh, she should. Mary Jane. Some good idea. What are we gonna do? Eat raw meat? Did you already come back? Where's Timmy? Okay, let's see. Oh my god. What was the beast? What was that beast outside? We couldn't tell if it was a, a giraffe, a cow, or a spider. It took quite a few shots to bring it down, but in the end, it found itself in our stomachs. Nice. Too bad it tasted like a lot, like a lot like tomato soup. Really? Timmy should have returned by now. Yeah, he should have. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Wow. I shouldn't have sent the child out. Oh, nobody's eating, you already ate the animal. Mary Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without her musical instrument. If she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of the house. A reminder of her hobbies, of what life used to be, might cheer her up a bit and make the situation easier for her. Should we let her out for a quick look around the house? Well, it's 14 days. I'm gonna let her out, otherwise she's gonna lose her mind. I hope she doesn't die as well, because that mother is just gonna stay all alone. She does not look good. Ah, our plant is growing. Grow, little plant, grow, yes. Can I play some music for this mom? Jesus. 
Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for her tuba. She said if she can't find the instrument, she'll settle for anything else she can, she can find, uh, like some sheet music. Uh, we sure hope the tuba didn't make it. <laughs> uh, we're pretty sure we prefer radio, static, or even the sweet sound of silence. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Dolores is clearly giving into her madness. We wish we could stop, but Dolores will not last long without water. Okay, Dolores, have some water, Jesus. We need water. Ah, we can keep sitting in our backsides here in this tiny little bunker or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from the radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would have ruined such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the running part of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Let's do that. Someone is calling us. Oh, she's back. She didn't find anything. Well, that was useless. If there's one thing we need to do is to use a radio on a regular basis to catch an emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Dolores is very unpredictable. Sometimes we're a bit afraid of her. Dolores is no longer thirsty. Good, I'm not feeding anyone. I have no water. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. Indeed. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Should we start preparing for an expedition? Yes. Should I have pressed this? Uh, we didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yet, here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be a public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should we send someone to answer it? <sighs> Should I send the mom or she's gonna die out there? I send Mary Jane. What was that star? I missed the star. Okay, let's see now. This plant is growing, I'm happy. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut shortly. Something must have gone wrong in, on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Dolores isn't doing very well. Her sanity is very questionable. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Okay, Mary Jane, drink. Dolores, I don't know, eat. It's a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh toxic air, maybe scavenge things or two. We're sure we could use some extra supplies. That's what we want to survive. I think we should send the mom, because she's going crazy anyways. And I think... Yeah, I'm not giving her anything. What is this? Acquire radio to make further contact with the military. Yeah, I want that. How do I do that? Await further instructions from friendly wasteland. Yes. Make contact with her. Ah, okay, we made contact. Nice. Okay, what now? I'm really afraid for our water supply. It's very, very limited. The mom is gone. Mary Jane is alone. Timmy died probably. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. That's good to hear. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow, but how? We need to investigate it or we might suffocate. Well, unfortunately, I have nothing. I hope we don't suffocate. Or I hope the mom brings something with her. Oh, a new joy. We decided to ignore any problems with the vent and focus on other problems. As predicted, uh, all of us developed a nasty cough and had trouble breathing, but it got better next morning. We don't know what the issue was, but the important thing, it's gone. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay this way. Hopefully. There is a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. Oh, Jesus. All the radiation is going inside. Is the smell coming from the hole? It's terrible. 
Should we investigate and remove the source of this stench? Yes. I think we should, because if it's radiation that's coming inside the room, these people are not going to survive for that long. Like hole that's looking out, like outside. Where's the mom? Mary Jane is not going to survive alone. Let's see. We looked into the hole, feeling something might come at us with claws uh, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Nice. Instead, we found the dead rat was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. Uh, we have a feeling we'll be luckier than him. We, were confis we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking for it all day. Ah. What if I don't give her water? Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us, to create beautiful sounds to be shared with the world around us, to sing and play and have cute mutated animals come to our feet and listen like a post-apocalyptic Snow White. Shall we? Yes, of course. But no water. Oh my god, there's a cockroach. Oh my god, there's two. Ew. This plant cannot grow any faster. Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks uh, in our walls and started moving to the rhythm of the song. They ran around in circles and shook their little antennae. <laughs> it would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. What are we supposed to do with them now? Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Okay, Mary Jane. Let's see. The funky roaches haven't really left us. To be fair, they aren't causing that, that much trouble. They even seem relatively friendly and curious. Just this morning, when we opened our eyes, we saw them standing in a perfect line right in front of us, as if they are waiting for something to play. Let's see, where's the mom? Oh, she's losing it. Oh, she's hungry. Okay. If you can beat them, join them. We figured the roaches are craving more of our music, so we fulfilled their unspoken request. They started joyfully uh, pressing around, creating fun shapes on the floor. Then, all of a sudden, they all left in one line. We thought the show was over, but they soon came back in a group, carrying supplies in their strong mutated bags. Insane. Looks like we made some new friends. Disgusting mutated radioactive friends. Perfect. We have some water. You need to eat. Okay, we can keep sitting in our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. We can start thinking about getting away from the possible. Yeah, I hear you, but we don't have a radio. So what am I supposed to do? Okay, let's see. This plant, I swear. If there is one thing we need to do is to use a radio on a regular basis to catch an emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. Yeah, I get you, but we don't have one. Yeah, I'm not feeding anyone. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful, red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us she was a trader and eagerly showed us items that she brought along. They offered a flashlight for, for what is this? And they offered the mask for this. Yeah, unfortunately I have neither. Scout handbook and a bug spray. I don't have any of them. No luck with the trade. Someone is knocking, I hope it's the mom. Oh my God, the mom is still on bug. More drawings. Oh my God. I have killed this whole family. It was hard to turn her down because of that damn cheerfulness, but we did it anyway. The woman seemed to be disappointed and tried to offer us schematics for some weird gun. We turned that down too. It's not like we have any tools around here anyway. Getting something to drink from Mary Jane sounds like a right idea. Okay. You can eat also. Okay, a woman came with a cre creature, she claims, is a camel. 
provided uh, that camels have five legs. The animals is carrying a pack of goods for trade. Yeah, I wish I had any of those things for a bottle of water. No? Uh, oh my god, the mom is back. What happened? She's crazy, hungry, tired and fatigued. In the end, we decided her offers were not for us. Maybe another time, if she ever comes back. Uh, we were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Only a handful of buildings in our town survived the blast wave. One of them was the local bus station. It uh, used to be the central hub for the bums and vagabonds in the area, but now it just stands there empty. We decided it's worth checking out, hoping someone left a few soup cans behind. Our local athletic team was preparing to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing waters and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of us were a match for us. None of them were much for us, so we just took the water bottles. Nice. Dolores still isn't in full control of her mind. We're not sure what monsters are inhabiting it, but we wish they would just go away. Dolores would really love to eat something. Dolores is really try tired, is really fatigued. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Okay. And you eat. It seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We don't know until we go out. Shall we prepare an expedition for tomorrow? I said we we'll rest and send the mom again. She looks like she got it. We have a situation in our hands. There is a group approaching our shelter and they don't seem like the occasional friendly scavengers you run into, not at all. They look like they're out for blood or cans, probably cans. This is a terrible time for humanity if canned soup is enough to turn us into monsters. Anyways, we need to defend ourselves. Well, I have a gun. I don't have bullets, but let's see. Can we hear? No. Ah, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Yes. Oh my god, this gun is done. Damaged rifle. It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards <laughs> running. Nice. The question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all of our ammo? We do hope it won't come to that. Otherwise, we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forks. Oh, damn it, we spoke too soon. Uh, we think the gun is broken. Mm, what do we do now? Dolores would really love to eat something. Dolores is very unpredictable, sometimes a bit afraid of her. It seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Yeah, I'm not sending anyone out yet. When we opened the shelter door today, we saw a letter lying on the ground. It was a cry for help from a group of friendly survivors nearby, or at least that's who they claim to be. They're asking us to bring some supplies over to a set location. They're giving us their word. They will not regret our generosity. Should we do it? How many soups? Yeah, we should do it. They need us. I have nothing for here. Share some soup with another survival group. Acquire radio. Let's see. Oh my God, she does not look good. Thirsty, fatigued, okay. So we arrived at the location and met the people who sent the letter. Twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They are taking care of a group of survivors, mostly children, elderly and injured people who can't scavenge themselves. They told us that they are searching the town for any and all good and decent people in hopes of maybe uniting their strength and making everybody feel safer and cared for. They thanked us and promised us they will stay in touch. How nice. Dolores has not eaten for a while. I literally fed her yesterday. Was she thirsty? We're not certain about the situation outside. Yeah, let's do an expedition. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there is a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks in their retirement home. It should be hard to should be hard to borrow some of their supplies. They're old anyways, so we need them more, right? Well, no, but we're gonna get them anyways. Await further instructions from friendly wastelanders. Acquire radio. Let's see. Let's hope nobody dies. Almost a month. 
So, we had to do this for the family. It had to be done. We really don't want to mention it again. How about we talk about something else? Soups, perhaps? Nice, we got water. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Dolores is very unpredictable. Dolores is no longer hungry. She has rested. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Perfect. So she just needs food, right? No, water. So just water. It's a good day to go outside, search a bit, get some fresh air, toxic air. Maybe some she things or two. Yeah, we send them out. Go. I have nothing to give you, so just go. I don't know, maybe take a soup with you. Or, yeah, take it. Acquire radio. Maybe we can exchange the soup for something. And here we are, Mary Jane, fatigued and hungry. Food is coming. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Equipment, one soup. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane, food. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to, hear straight, to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know, they must exist. Yeah, because if they are in the comics, they're probably real. And all we need to do is make contact with the military, and I don't have a radio. Yeah. So, we are officially a month inside the shelter. And it's a success, I must say. I was expecting we would die in a couple of days. Thirsty. Water. If there is one thing we need to do is to use the radio on a regular basis. Yeah, okay. Mary Jane is no longer hungry. Getting something to drink it sounds like a right idea. Good. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scrubby bag on his shoulders paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one time deal. For just one soup of can, he would get the we would get the bag with all of its content. We can't see what's inside, and the trader gives us angry glances every time we take a step forward to the mysterious bag. Should we deal? Yes, because we have a lot of soup, and I'm curious, and maybe there's a radio that he doesn't know how to use. Let's hope. A cat? We get a cat? Oh Jesus! Do I need to feed her? Sharikov, oh, you're so cute. Okay, as soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started to violently shake, emitting screaming hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the wall when the beast finally escaped. It turned out to be just an angry house cat. The felon gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. Its color says Sharkov. Is that its name? Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. So, what was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with their double tail? It can't let that thing get to our supplies. Yeah, no, I have nothing. So let's hope the cat does something about it. Let's see. Where's the mom? It's been three days. Ah, the cat is here. I was like, where's the cat? Sharkov is here. The beast of a rodent won't. It won't install our food. Oh my God. Can or no can? At least we have each other, right? We're just worried it will come back to finish what it started. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Good. How much food? My God, we just have two cans. We have plenty of water, though. One of our cupboards in the shelter was a bit shaky, so we pulled it up to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea. Let's find out. With no equipment. Let's find out. Day 33. Okay, how do you feel? Thirsty. Some things are better left untouched than unknown. Whatever is behind that door will stay there. Uh, we also stuck some furniture against it so be sure nothing and no one comes through them. Everyone has to drink something, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Yes. Thank God I don't have to feed the cat. Today we were visited by a 
strange looking little man who introduced himself as a trader. He insisted his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. The least we could do was take a look at his offer, although some reason we don't really trust him. Yeah, but even if I did trust him, I have nothing of those things. So, unfortunately, no deal. Let's see. I'm impressed with how long we have survived. Oh my God, what is this? I like this card. <gasps> no! Despite his desperate attempts to sell us all kinds of things, uh, useless and not, we turned down the man's offer. It's probably for the better. He did look quite untrustworthy. We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. Oh my God, I killed the mother as well. Mary Jane it look, is no longer thirsty. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. We didn't make it. These are our final words. And our advice to anyone who reads this is obscure writing. We survived for 34 days. Day one, three of us survived. Day four, plumping action. Six, we can hear things. See, Tommy's behavior is odd. Nine, unknown benefactor. Eleven, to read what you saw, to read what you saw. Twelve, sleepless in Atomville. <laughs> Dolores is insane. Uh, winner takes it all. Okay, so basically, I want the cake. Yeah, you and me together. Wait, no food? Wait, we just died? Did we just die? Yeah? No. Why? Water consumed five, soup consumed times defended your shelter. Successful expedition, 103 items brought for the expedition. No decisions, yes decisions. But I did good. Why did we die? I was still, I still had food. Well, to be honest, it was better than I expected. 34 days, I expected us to last not even a week, to be honest. So I consider that a success. I don't know about you guys, it was a really fun experience for me. As I said, I'm not really an expert or experienced in playing video games, but this one was quite fun. Maybe we'll play it some more times and try to beat our record and maybe last longer than a month this time. Let me know what you think about this game in the comments down below, as well as if you have some other suggestions for games for me to try out in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. It's been Alina, your friendly nuclear physicist, and until next time, see you soon.